Hey guys, and welcome to this Unity tutorial where I will be demonstrating a freebie that I've made which you can download and use for free. The freebie is used to type text to a TextMesh Pro text variable and it simulates a typewriter. So when we click next, you can see it just types out the text like an old school typewriter. And it does it every time from the beginning. So if we just keep on clicking faster, it just resets the text and there's no clipping, no double spawning of letters and so on. Another cool thing is it also works for any number of labels. So if you have two text boxes, you can see they're completely independent one of each other. Another cool thing about this is you just need one, one instance of it. So it is attached to a single game object, a single script instance, and it just takes a type speed as a variable. So now that we see how the system works, let's go to the script and see how it works from the inside. In our text typer class, we have a couple of methods and a coroutine. So let's start with a method called type text. It gets the uh, text mesh pro text variable and a string variable. At the beginning of the method, we simply clear the current text from the label, and then we check if an existing coroutine exists. Why we do this? Well, if there's another coroutine writing to the same label, and we don't stop it and clear the text, we're just gonna get multiple letters being written to our label and that's not what we want because then we'll get almost two messages one in between each other which looks really weird and that's not the results we want. In the check for existing routine method we supply the TextMesh Pro label we wish to write to, we declare a new enumerator which is an existing routine and then we go to the dictionary of uh, that we call routines and we try to get the value of the existing routine. Now, how do we do this? Well, in Unity, each item has its own instance ID. So each game object has its own unique ID in the scene. Now, if we already are typing to our label, then we will know that our dictionary contains a key of uh, the instance ID of our label that we're trying to write to. So right now, here we have try get value label dot get instance ID. And then once we get the value, we just put it into our existing routine variable. Now, if the variable is null, that means that no, no, no routines were writing to our label, and that's fine. If something exists, so if the existing routine is not null, we simply remove it from the dictionary and then we stop the coroutine. Now, back in our type text method, after we have checked for an existing routine, we create a new routine and we say it, it is equal to type text coroutine. We again supply the label and the text. We add the coroutine to our routines dictionary and then we simply start it. Now in our type text coroutine, once it is started, you can see it goes into a for loop. It loops through all the characters and each iteration, it appends one character to our label. And there's a little twist there. Every time there's a space bar, it just skips the waiting for seconds so that way space bars aren't counted as characters which simply just makes it look a little bit nicer in my opinion now once the coroutine ends it will just simply remove itself from the uh, routines dictionary and that's about it that's that's the whole system i hope you guys like it it's linked in the description below um, as well as the scene that's used here as a demonstration if you have any criticism or suggestions, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I hope to see you all in the next video. Goodbye.